Submitting an open records request can be challenging for anyone that is unfamiliar with the act. However, each custodian of records should make it painless as possible to fulfill your request. According to OCGA 50-18-71, a request may be submitted orally. However, writing is the preferred method, putting your request in writing. Protects the request and ensures you have a copy of the request from such agency receiving your request. A good rule of thumb is to ask for a stamped received copy of the request. Remaining anonymous is something you can do as well. Some may demand that you produce a driver's license or some form of identification before the records are released to you. This could be a violation of one's Fourth Amendment rights as all have a right to request public records. Some basic information to include in your request is the date, records that you're requesting, and a method of contact such as a phone number or email address. Additional personal private information is not required to obtain public records. A template has been provided for you to use as a guide in this module. Any agency that designates one or more open records officers upon whom requests for inspection or copying of records may be delivered shall make such designation in writing and shall immediately provide notice to any person upon request, orally or in writing, of those open records officers. If the agency has elected to designate an open records officer, the agency shall so notify the legal organ of the county in which the agency's principal offices reside and, if the agency has a website, shall also prominently display such designation on the agency's website. In the event an agency requires that requests be made upon the individuals identified in subparagraph B of paragraph 1. Of this subsection, the three-day period for response to a written request shall not begin to run until the request is made in writing upon such individuals. An agency shall permit receipt of written REQ. How to submit your request can vary between government bodies. One guaranteed way is to go in person to submit your request. You either already have the request pre-filled out on your template or request if they have a blank open records request that you can fill out. If they do not have a blank open records request, then a simple piece of paper will work just fine. Always remain professional and polite no matter what response is given by public official. If the public official is unaware of or doesn't know what the act is then kindly ask for the records custodian or a supervisor. A government office failing to accept your records request could be a violation of OCGA. 50-18-71. Additionally, you may also film your interactions while submitting your request. As long as you're in a public area such a lobby or foyer. This also creates an additional record that you submitted your request. After you submit your request, the agency has three business days to provide a response to your request. Responses could be returned faster if it's a smaller request. If there is a charge and you agree to pay such fee, then you can decide how to pay. If the amount is over your budget for the record, you can simply stop and take no further action and inform the custodian that you plan to not pay over a certain amount. You could offer suggestions such as leaving off a portion of the record to keep the cost down. Ultimately, the decision is yours to make on your request. After receiving your records, you are free to do with them as you please. You may publish them to social media and share with the public. Sometimes you might be denied records that you believe to be releasable to the public. Upon a denial, make sure to read the code section the agency is quoting for denial. You can then reference that section with the OCGA. 50-18-71 Arguing with the custodian might not get the records released. You can always ask to speak with a supervisor. Remember that private information along with other data is not accessible to the public and should not be released. Appealing such redactions of private information will not change the records custodian's redactions of the records. Certain data is redacted and private for a reason. If you feel that your records have been altered or denied, then you can file a complaint with the Georgia Attorney General's Office.